Hey guys, and welcome back to another one of my Unity tutorials. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to apply clothing to your VRChat characters. This will work for any avatar, whether it's a humanoid or a furry or any kind of avatar. The uh, c concept is pretty much the same, so let me show you how to do it. So after buying the clothing that you want, uh, and after getting all your files and importing them into Unity, I'm going to open the file and basically find where your clothing are. Now drag and drop your clothing here. In my case, this is going to be a shirt. Now, in my case, the shirt is a bit too big. So what you're going to do is click on your avatar and make sure that the scale number here is basically the same. So just copy the first number, go back onto your shirt. And now where it says scale, just copy paste it in all of these three. So now as you can see, the shirt uh, doesn't fit the avatar. So how we can fix that is by double clicking on your shirt and then on the right, extend blend shapes. Now you do have to note that some uh, assets and some clothing don't have this option, but most of them nowadays should uh, in order to, if the clothing is made for your avatar that you're, that you're wearing, then it should definitely have blend shapes. So we're going to basically, you're going to find uh, whatever uh, the issue is. So in my case, it will be uh, female. So maybe we just need to extend that. So the way you use blend shapes is you basically just click and hold and drag it to the right like this. So you basically have to find uh, what is uh, in your case, maybe the arms are too thin or too thick. So basically just find it on the right side, whatever it is that you're having issues with. So the way you apply your clothing is basically you want to on the left side, right click on the your shirt or the thing on your clothing. You want to unpack prefab and then extend it all the way. Now everything that you see here uh, extended, uh, if you see uh, lowercase end, you d you can just ignore those. Just extend all the ones that you don't see uh, the uh, end of. So once you extended all of them, uh, you can go ahead and extend your avatar. Now we're basically, uh, to explain what we're doing here, is basically you're going to go and find uh, the thing on the hero of your clothing. And you want to find that same written thing on your avatar. So in my case, it will be tail uh, one. So you're going to click and hold and drag the tail one onto the tail one and then just drop it. In your case, if it says shoulder, then you want to find shoulders and then extend it. And you're basically, you know, going to go right wrist, put it on the right wrist and just basically uh, connect all of these. It's the same name. You're just basically dragging them on top of your avatar over the thing that you're looking for. Now, if you're still having issues after connecting all the bones and your body is still sticking out a little bit, there is a way you can fix this. So you want to go ahead and extend your arm or whichever part of your body you're having issues with. And you, and here you're going to basically look for that piece of uh, bone, basically, but it's going to be uh, called in this uh, white text. So in my case, it's, it's going to be the right arm. So what you can do is you can select this tool up here. And then basically you can use these little cubes to basically, as you can see, extend it um, in every in any direction that you can. You can even move it around and basically just uh, position uh, so that now you don't have any clipping. Now, one major thing I will definitely recommend you do uh, if you're using Poyomi shaders, you're going to go ahead and, you know, create the material for your shirt. Or if you already have a material of your shirt, then you want to go and find it. And if you have this window here, which is basically Poyomi, you want to go ahead and extend this rendering window here and make sure that this cull here is set off. This basically means that uh, inside of your shirt, some of them are not rendered. So it's just going to be like you're just going to see the outer layer of the shirt to make it just look nicer. You just want to have that off. And now, as you can see, uh, your shirt is basically rendered on the inside and on the outside. You do have to note that not all pieces of clothing are made for the same set avatars. So if you have a piece of clothing that uh, isn't made for the avatar, but it still has the armature as I showed you, you should be able to still put it on your avatar and then you just have to resize some places here and there. But you can you can still make it fit as long as it has the same overall shape of the body. So that's pretty much it how to add the clothing. Now, of course, you would want to probably make it into a toggle. So let me show you how to do that. So we're going to go to our animator and we're going to create up, oh, click on this little plus, create a layer. We're going to call it a shirt. 
copy this name because it, it matters um, that you use the same name. We're going to click on this little wheel here and just make the weight one. Go into the parameters, click on this little plus here and then go bool. Scroll down and basically use the same name as we did there. Uh, so now we're going to create an animation. So you want to click on your avatar. I'm going to create a new clip and then shirt on. Save. Press the little record button. And now you want to go ahead and find uh, the shirt on your avatar. Now, in my case, it's broken because I didn't properly connect all the parts. But I'm just doing this so I can show you how everything works. Uh, in your case, your shirt should follow your body and should stick to it. So what you want to do is you want to go ahead and find your shirt and then up here toggle it off and then toggle it on again. And then press the little record button and then preview. And then you want to basically create a new clip but this time it is going to be off. Then save. Press record again. But this time you're just going to hide the shirt. Then unplay and preview. So now we have our animation, now we can actually start adding it. So go back onto your animator, make sure that you have the shirt selected both in layers and parameters. And now you want to go ahead and find where your uh, animation is. We're going to start off by dragging the shirt off and then shirt on. Right click on the orange one, make transition, mouse one, and then basically do, do that same, do and basically do the same in back. Click on the little arrow, tick that has exit time off and uh, extend the settings and then duration off on the conditions plus the little plus instead of just your left we're going to have a shirt now for the arrow that is going to the orange one you're going to have that set to false now you're basically going to do the same thing but on the other arrow but instead of false it's going to be true now click on your avatar again scroll down and go ahead and find your parameters. Click on those. Go add shirt and then make sure here that it's set to bool. Now find your expression menu. Click add control. Extend this. Name it. Instead of a type button, make sure that it's a toggle. And where it says parameter, make sure that it's the one that we just created. In my case, the shirt. Before uploading the avatar, make sure that you hide the actual piece of clothing because if you don't then the animation might not work um, and people who have and people who don't have your avatar sh fully shown they're always going to see your clothing on so if you don't want that make sure that you have the shirt off um, if you're interested to know where you can get clothing i would suggest a website called gumroad or you can search up on booth or, or vrc mods i will have all of those sites linked in the description um, I hope that this video helped. Uh, let me know if you have some more questions and yeah, I shall see you next time.